Good morning, investors and traders. In today's segment, we'll be talking about BTC, which has jumped more than 5% today. So what does that mean in terms of the BTC price? That is something that we'll be exploring in this particular segment. As always, it is important for me to go through this brief risk disclaimer and risk warnings if you have any questions please feel free to get in touch with your own account managers a bit about myself my name is Laim Azim I work as a chief analyst for Evertrade come with a wealth of 15 years of trading experience during this time period worked as a hedge fund trader for Bank of New York Mellon and as an equity trader with Bank of America here are our social media handles I do recommend you guys to follow us there as we do share important information throughout the day. Now, let's look at the BTC chart and then we will begin the conversation by looking at the daily time frame. This over here at the right hand side, this particular move is the one that we were really referring to. The 5% move two days of back to back gains, which hasn't happened in a long time because the last time it happened was back over here in September 2022, when the prices moved from 18,700 to well above that 21,000 or nearly 22,000, should we say, to the price mark. And that is what we are sort of anticipating now. Now, the major sort of resistance which the price is really going to be facing in the coming days is going to be 50 and 100 decibel moving averages. Once the price crosses above these particular moving averages, the path of lead resistance is more likely to be skewed to the upside. And the next sort of resistance is really going to be coming where the 200 a simple moving average is trading and that means that 27,000 sort of a price mark so let's go back and then mark those particular price levels on the chart so once again our major support zone remains where it is our signal to trade to the upside will only emerge now if you have not been able to cash prices right around here when the price will cross above the 50 and the 100 day simple moving average in terms of our resistance how far the price can really go or where we should be expecting the resistance line in terms of the price action is really going to be on the top of this particular one in fact i would say it would be more of a 200 day simple moving average so really is going to be in around this particular price level where we could potentially see a reversal forming if there is a reversal really at that stage. So it's going to be becoming more in around that particular price level. So once again, the uh, the buy signal is going to be very much occurring when the price will break above the 50 day simple moving average because that will open the door for the prices to continue to move towards that 27,000 to 28,000 sort of a price level. That's all for now. See you guys next time.